Andrew was alluding to earlier, but they could put it all right here. So Natalia White. Based in the US, another who's had a very good season, 1097, new person best for her this year. Well, making up for a very disappointing World Championships where she false started in the semi-final and you might remember the pictures as she was castigating a picture of her own self on the TV screens as she disappeared through the corridors afterwards. Now, this young lady here has been very impressive all season and she has a habit of performing well in the big championships or in the big races, if you like. She's only run under 11 seconds once, but she's been very good here. So Elaine thompson Hera then the favourite to take the title, surely. That personal best there, 10.54. Uh, had to watch shelly Ann Fraser-Price take the title in Eugene. So can Daryl Nita produce something special here? To join the list of English winners of this, including the likes of Sonia Lanneman, Heather Oakes, going back a good few years. Well, this young lady here, there's only the three Jamaicans, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Sharika Jackson, and Elaine Thompson Hera have run quicker than Julian Alfred this year at 10.81. Another who had a very disappointing World Championships and false started. But what about Zoe Hobbs? Record after record this season, the New Zealander hasn't yet dipped under the 11 second mark but she's air oh so close and then nokocha another of the nigerian sprinters based in the us and again another very very good collegiate season from her well daryl nita her whole career she said i've raced dina rasha smith since we were ch when, well children kids together in the kent league and events such as that and uh, is this a chance for Daryl Nita to step out of the shadow of Dina Asher-Smith a little bit? Or will the Olympic champion take the Commonwealth title here? Can St. Lucia find, if not a medalist, maybe a gold medalist in lane six? And what about Zoe Hobbs? Chances everywhere you look here. Women's 100 meter final. Set. Thompson Hera gets a very good start and alongside of Chikuma also got a good start, but look at Alfred is right out there. Darren Nita's got some work to do. Alfred and Elaine Thompson Hera just gets away. The Jamaican takes the title. The Olympic champion can now call herself the Commonwealth champion as well. It was close. For a long time, it looked as though she might not quite do it. And Julian Alfred of St. Lucia ran brilliantly. Daryl Nita might have got up there for the bronze. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, all that's getting sorted out behind Elaine thompson Hera. Well, there were doubts, and she's not at her best. I think we can say that. But she's so good that she's still good enough to beat the rest. And this young lady is one of the up-and-coming sprinters. Superb performance from her. And we're just waiting for confirmation. We think this. Daryl Nita, it's gone up on the board now. Confirmed in bronze medal. So Colin, Elaine thompson Hera was... Uh, I don't know, you know, kind of coming into this, she obviously came here to win a gold medal. She hasn't won this title before. Flying the flag again for Jamaica. But she just didn't look as sharp as she has been even earlier in the season. But she's a great competitor and she needed that here tonight. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And I don't think from the gun from here there was going to be any mistake whatsoever. She got out the block so, so well and aggressively this time. And she got company very early on with Julian Alfred. Johnson's right on the shoulder all the way. But look at Elaine Thompson. She's just so calm, even under this type of pressure. We all know she's not in her best shape, but she is a champion.